What are some common mistakes people make when taking the IELTS exam? Stay tuned and we'll show you how to avoid them. Common mistake number one. You don't know your English level. You need to remember that the IELTS is an English proficiency exam. And to even begin to prepare for IELTS, you need to make sure that your English level is at a high enough level that you can actually get ready for the exam. I think a mistake that a lot of people make is that they go and they take the IELTS exam before having enough of a foundation of English. Or they take an IELTS preparation exam before having enough foundation of English to be able to do well. So you're going to be asked to compare and contrast. Mistake number two is relying on a quick fix, an express IELTS course. Um, I think what a lot of students do is that they're in such a rush to prepare, they think that a quick two-week course will get them ready for the exam. You need to have the foundations there. You need to have the skills of English, and you need to have an English level high enough that you're able to take the course to begin with. It's a long process. It's hard work. Ideally, it takes months and months and months. So I would suggest you begin preparing at least three to six months before your test, and also make sure that you have those foundations of English beforehand. Oh, hey. All right, good luck. Common mistakes number three is focusing too much on the exam itself and not enough on your language capabilities. You need to remember that the IELTS exam is unpredictable. The type of topics can range from almost anything. You could be asked about architecture. You could be asked about culture, music, biology, geology, um, politics. So you need to have an extensive range of vocabulary to be able to deal with whatever comes up. You also need to be able to show a wide range of grammar and to be able to use more complex sentence structures. So for all of this, you need to be learning English constantly. And that's time's up. Common mistake number four is not understanding the test and the time constraints. The IELTS exam is divided into four parts and each part of those have a very specific time. So you need to know how much time to spend on each question. That's the way we do it. Common mistake number five is not knowing your learning style. Some people think that they learn better by themselves. But with IELTS, I think this is quite difficult. You need help with your error correction. You need feedback and you need someone to practice with. I think the best way is to take a class. You could join the British Council and join one of our language classes or our IELTS preparation classes. We can help you. Well, that's all for today's video. If you would like to read the whole article, click here. And also, don't forget to follow our social media. I wish you good luck. I hope you do well in the exam. Soon pai jumpa. Goodbye.